Tonight, Perth's dodgy property spruker. We just want to talk to you about your properties in the US. Promising riches selling worthless dumps. He just ripped his blind. Hello again. When it comes to investing, there's always a level of risk, but these Perth buyers had no idea what they were really getting into. Stung by a US property investment scheme, they ended up with debt-ridden dumps. Graham Butler goes in search of answers. He just... He just ripped his blind. I can't stand these guys, you know? You want, to get, you want to get rich in your life, you want to make your money by ripping people off. Fantastic. G'day, Keith, how are you going? There's a lot of questions Perth investors want to ask Keith Hanna, people like Gavin Hillman. He's just basically made all these promises, made all these deals, and as I said, the bloke was here in my house, you know, he sat at my kitchen table, looked me in the eye, shook, me, shook my hand, and... Uh, and blatantly he's just ripped us off. And he thinks by not answering the phone or emails that um, he's going to get away with it. It's, he just refuses to make contact. We just want to talk to you about your properties in the US. Keith Hanna is the man behind this, USA Properties for Australians. He buys and sells houses in the US, predominantly in Detroit. According to the website, investors can retire on an income of $180,000 a year by purchasing multiple properties. It sounded pretty good to former soldier Gavin. He sank $75,000 into it. He said, you know, you buy these properties um, for five grand or 10 grand, and he's, he's got, as the brochure said, you know, these properties are gonna bring you up to $1,000 a month back. So if he spent $10,000 on a property, within, you know, law of averages, within 12 months, you're gonna get your money back. Gavin bought 10 houses from Keith Hanna for between five and $10,000. Sounds dirt cheap. How could you go wrong? He said, hey, I'll, I got them cheap. Obviously, I'll pass them on cheap. That's, you know, everyone makes a bit of money. He says, I could sell them for a lot more, but, you know, I'm, I got them cheap. I'll make a bit, you know, sell them to you. Uh, you do them up, rent them up rent them out and that sort of stuff and so everyone's making money, everyone's happy. Gavin says he was told after spending a small amount on refitting, the houses could be rented for up to $1,000 a month. He also says Keith promised if he wasn't happy with the properties, he'd buy them back or swap them. But the houses Gavin bought were dumps. He discovered many had sold at auction in 2011 for just $500. The population of Detroit has imploded and many houses and buildings are now derelict, selling for as little as a dollar. Gavin says the pictures Keith gave him of the properties were deceiving and very different to the reality he discovered in Detroit. All the windows, doors, kicked in, spray paint everywhere, all the houses have been stripped of any value. They pull all the electric cables out of the wall, plumbing. Uh, they steal furnaces, electric, they even steal the water meter, gas meter, electricity meters, everything. It got worse. Gavin discovered he'd not only bought dodgy houses, the contract he signed meant he'd bought their debts too, thousands in unpaid taxes. When you take on ownership of the property, you take everything that goes with it, all the financial um, back taxes, delinquent water, fines, everything. Everything associated with the house goes with you. To give you an idea of the deception in Detroit, this is an apartment block recently promoted on Keith Hanna's website. He claims it's in a very good area and says its monthly rental income is $30,000. Well, this is the same block of flats on a YouTube video. It speaks for itself. OK, 5200 Which one is it? This is 5200 Front door is open. Windows are broke out, so you know that this place probably needs just about every unit uh, rehabbed. Buying rental properties in Detroit would, would probably be about as bad as buying pro rental properties in northern Iraq. Neil Jenman is a real estate commentator. He says he warned about investing in the US market years ago. I said on this program three years ago that there are going to be hundreds or thousands of Australians losing their money in America. And that is exactly what has happened. Neil Jenman says the glossy website claims just shouldn't be believed. 
They're ghettos. They have been... There's nobody living there. There's violence. They've got bullet holes. I'm not kidding you. They have bullet holes in the houses. A, already one Australian landlord has been killed trying to collect the rent over there. I'm not joking when I say, if you want to buy a house in Detroit, well, then you're going to need two things when you collect the rent. You're going to need a bulletproof vest and an armoured Humvee to collect the rent. That's how bad it is. You'd never know that by reading the testimonials on Keith Hanna's website. 1800 per month, positive cash flow, and I am already planning to buy more very soon. Thank you very much. I plan on buying at least 10 more properties in the next few months. Thanks for the great advice and treating us like superstars. But a check of these happy customers raises a few questions. Coincidentally, the exact same ecstatic group appears endorsing dozens of other companies as well, like this. Max Home Inspections is awesome. Thanks for treating us like superstars. Smart Financial is awesome. Thanks for treating us like superstars. They all sound too good. I actually emailed Keith uh, and said, can I have contact details for your testimonials? And obviously they... I didn't get an email back from Keith. He's just completely shut up shop. We wanted to get some answers too, but Keith Hanna was in no mood for explaining. We just want to talk to you about your properties in the US. Can we just talk to you about the properties, Keith? Come on. Keith! Obviously, Keith doesn't want to answer our questions. I just want to speak to him about why he's selling these properties to these people. He's not giving them any answers, and he's certainly not giving us any answers either. Within hours, Keith Hanna had removed all details from his website. Today, he sent an email stating, Gavin Hillman approached me and wanted to buy these houses. He purchased 10 properties at $7,500 each, fully knowing they were foreclosure properties, were vacant and all needed money spent on them. He read and signed the contracts to purchase the properties as is. He simply changed his mind. That's not my fault. He's made them out to be something that they're not and he's selling them off as property investments. They're just not.